Okay? Now, look at the second pattern, what we did before, the one, two, three, one, two, one, two. It's the same thing, except for I put a snare on two. So instead of three, it's on two. So right? So you remember that time when we went, instead of doing one, two, one, two first, we did one, two, three first, right? This is that second pattern, just with the snare hit. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. Except for this. See what I'm saying? Everybody, we on the same page? So let's put those together. So we're gonna do the first one, which is one, two, one, two, one, two, three. And then the second one's gonna be one, two, three, one, two, one, two. Okay? You guys ready for this? This is gonna be a long one. You ready? Here we go. Let's make it a groove, okay? So down here at the bottom, I did the same thing that uh, on this page that I did with displacing the bass drum. I put a bass drum key at the bottom. So you can figure it out. You can go home and be like, one, two, one, two, ah, oh, one, two, three, sweet. So if you look at this first bass drum part, it goes one, two, one, two, and then there's a rest on one, two, and three. One, two, one, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two three. You see that right here, this measure. Yeah. Okay? The next measure is on one, two, three, and then there's a rest on the first one, two, but on the second one, two, I hit you with another bass drum hit. So it's one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two. You see that? So putting the bass drum part together is one, two, one, two, rest two, three, one, two, one, two, rest two, three, one, two, three, rest two, one, two, one, two, three, rest two, one, two. Now, I'm just counting that because I, I can do it. You gotta go home and actually count it out slowly, okay? But the pattern is like this. There's a pattern to it, listen. You hear the pattern? Now, if you're saying to yourself, if you're saying to yourself, one two one two one two three one two one two one two three one two three one two one two one two three one two one two you can hear it. You see what I'm saying? Okay. Now let's put that with the paradiddles and paradiddle diddles. Okay? So you got Let's put it on the ride and hi-hat. Okay, let's put it on a rim and snare. Okay? Sounds totally different, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay? The reason why is because I'm when you put it on a snare drum like that, it totally gives a different feel. Now put the bass drum part to it. Okay, so if you just put, let me do the whole phrase 
doing symbols and then let me go to the rim and snare. It's just, it sounds out there, but it's not. It's just counting it. It's a little bit more involved, okay? It's one. Okay, I play on the twos and then a two to three. And then the second time, I do the same thing because the rhythm's turned around. It's just one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one. So let me put the whole bass drum in context. One, two, Okay, Luke, you well, Luke, you want to play this part for me? No, I'm just playing. <laughs> I seen you were not in office. Wake you up a little bit. <laughs> so, in context. going to help you play that, okay? So uh, that's done for this. I have one more thing to show you. Um, it's a pair diddle diddle fill, and it's a 30 second note fill. So if I'm playing it in 4-4 four, four time, and I'm playing slow, it would sound like this. Okay? And then I have to end it, phrase-wise, I have to end it on a 4, because if you're doing 30 second notes, and a time like this, it's... So listen. Now, 